Sutra because of the desire to reveal the causes of the Buddha Dharma in order to obtain all Buddha's equality and in order to comprehend that Dharma realms are without non-duality they speak of the Dharma like this at that time Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva universally contemplated exhausting the realm of space all the multitudes of assemblies in the lands of the ten directions because he designed to bring all living beings to accomplishment because he designed to totally purify all karmic retribution because he designed to totally reveal the purity of the Dharma realm because he designed to pull out the fundamental root of defilement because he designed to increase vast great faith and understanding because he designed to bring about the knowledge of all the rules of limitless living beings because he designed to bring about the knowledge of the equality of dharmas of the three builders of time because he designed to bring about the contemplation of the realm of nirvana and because he designed to increase his own good rules of purity he received the buddha's awesome power and spoke these verses saying commentary the buddha speak of because of the desire to reveal the causes of the buddha dharma what are the causes of the buddha dharma good causes are just the cause of the buddha dharma is also in order to obtain all buddha's equality they also speak in order to cause all living beings to obtain all buddha's resultant position of equality which is the equal and right enlightenment and in order to comprehend that Dharma realms are without non-duality. The Bodhisattvas wish to understand that the Dharma realms of the ten directions are all one, not dual, and so they speak the Dharma like this. Therefore, they speak this kind of Dharma on the merit and virtue of the Bodhisattva who first brings forth the might. At that time, Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva universally contemplated exhausting the realm of space. He pervasively contemplated exhausting the Dharma realm of the realm of space, all the multitudes of assemblies in the lands of the ten directions, that is, all the Buddha lands of the ten directions, because he designed to bring all living beings to accomplishment. He wishes to cause all living beings to become Buddhas, to perfect the fruition of all Buddhas. Because he desired to totally purify all karmic retribution, that is to extirpate all defined evil karma and to cause all living beings to obtain pure good karma. He also wishes to cause all living beings to understand the principle of planting causes and reaping the result. It is also because he desired to totally reveal the purity of the Dharma realm. The Bodhisattva wishes to cause the Dharma realm to manifest its basic pure source. Also, because he desired to pull out the fundamental root of defilement. He also wants to pull out the fundamental defilements of living beings, their basic greed, hatred and stupidity, affliction and ignorance and because he desired to cause all living beings good rules to increase and to expand their vast and great faith and understanding and because he desired to bring about the knowledge of all the rules of limitless living beings because he desired to bring about the knowledge of the equality of dharmas of the three builders of time because he desired to bring about the contemplation of the realm of Nirvana, which consists of the four virtues of permanence, bliss, true self, and purity. And because he desired to increase his own good rules of purity, he received the Buddha's awesome power and spoke these verses. Because of these various reasons, Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva receives the Buddha's great awesome spiritual power and speaks these verses. He uses his verses to restate the principles in the prose section, saying, Sutra, in order to benefit the world, 
He brings forth a great might. His might pervades everywhere in the ten directions. The dharmas of living beings, lands, and the three periods of time. Also, the most supreme sea of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Ultimately, like space and equal to the Dharma realm, um, all the world systems which exist, he goes to wherever there is the Buddha or the Dharma. In this way, he brings forth the mind without ever retreating. He is kindly mindful of living beings without forsaking them for a moment. Leaving afflictions and harm, he universally benefits them. His light shines upon the world as a place of refuge. The protective mindfulness from the ten powers is difficult to conceive of. The ten directions, countries he completely enters, all forms and shapes are totally made manifest. Just as the Buddha's blessings and wisdom are vast and boundless, so he accordingly cultivates their causes without any attachments. Their abiding sutras facing upwards or facing downwards cause wondrous or wide of limitless kinds. The Bodhisattva who first brings forth the most supreme mind is able to go to all of them without obstruction. The Bodhisattva superior conducts are ineffable. He cultivates all of them without dwelling anywhere. He is his own Buddhas and is continuously blissful and universally enters the most profound ocean of Dharma. With pity for the flocks of beings in the five destinies, he causes them to eradicate their defilements and be universally pure, so that the Buddha seed continues to flourish without being cut off. He destroys the demon's palaces without remainder. He already abides in the level nature of the first commons, he well cultivates the path of the subtly wondrous skill in means. Towards the state of the Buddhas, he gives rise to a heart of faith, and he receives the Buddha's anointing, his crown, with a mind devoid of attachments. Commentary In order to benefit the world, he brings forth a great mind. Why does the Bodhisattva bring forth the Buddha mind? Because he wants to benefit all the living beings in all worlds. This mind pervades everywhere in the ten directions. He brings forth the a great mind which pervades everywhere in the world systems of the ten directions. It includes the dramas of living beings, lands, and the three periods of time. All living beings, all countries, and all dharmas of the Buddhas of the ten directions and the three periods of time. Also, the most supreme sea of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. It also includes all of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and all the great oceanic assembly of those who listen to the Dharma. Ultimately, lack space and equal to the Dharma realm. Ultimately, black space and the Dharma realm are all the world systems which exist. That is, all of the world systems in the ten directions. He goes to wherever there is the Buddha and the Dharma. It does not matter what world systems or land. The Bodhisattva goes there. Wherever there is the Buddha and the Dharma, he vastly cultivates the making of offerings. He worships all Buddhas and praises the first commons. In this way, he brings forth the mind without ever retreating. In bringing forth the great Buddha itself, his mind never ever retreats. He is kindly mindful of living beings without forsaking them for a moment. In bringing forth this great Buddha mind, he always has kind, great, uh, has kind regard for living beings without forsaking them for a moment. He never forgets living beings. Leaving afflictions and harm, he universally benefits them. He wishes to leave the activities which bring about afflictions and harm to all living beings. He wants to benefit living beings everywhere. His light shines upon the world as a place of refuge. 
the Bodhisattva who brings forth the great body mind emits light which illumines all worlds and causes all the living beings in all of the of these worlds to return to and rely upon the triple jewel. The protective mindfulness from the ten powers is difficult to conceive of. He uses the Buddha's ten minds of power to exercise protective thoughts over all living beings. He cultivates this inconceivable door of practice. The ten directions countries he completely enters. He goes to all the lands of the ten directions to make offerings. All forms and shapes are totally made manifest. He makes known all of living beings' shapes and form and all of their various characteristics, just as the Buddha's blessings and wisdom are vaster and boundless, just as the first common's blessings and meritorious qualities are endless. So he accordingly cultivates their causes without any attachments. He of course with the old Buddha Dharmas to cultivate. He always goes along with living beings in his practice of the Bodhisattva path. To cultivate their causes means that he cultivates on the causal level without any attachments. The wonderful advantage of the Buddha Dharma is that it breaks through all of the attachments of living beings. Why are living beings so selfish? Why are they unable to put things down? Because they have attachments. They are attached to their countries, to their homes, to their bodies, and all the wealth which belongs to them. They are abiding shatras facing upwards or facing downwards. Their world systems which face upwards, that is, they are shaped in such a way that they face upwards. And there are those lands which face downwards like a canopy cause wanderers or white of limitless kinds. They are called world systems and they are also wanderers world systems. Cause world systems are those of the evil town of the five turbidities. An example of a wanderers world system is the land of ultimate bliss, which is pure and adorned. They are also wide world systems and narrow world systems. They are of immeasurable and limitless kinds. The Bodhisattva who first bring forth the most, the most supreme mind, when the Bodhisattva first brings forth the body mind, he is able to go to all of them without obstruction. He is able to go to all of those cause under us vast and small world systems to teach and transform living beings to and to widely make offerings. The Bodhisattva superior conducts are ineffable. Basically, the superior conduct of this Bodhisattva is truly inexpressible. He cultivates all of them without dwelling anywhere. He cultivates all kinds of Dharma doors, yet he has no attachments. That is to say, he does not dwell anywhere. He is his own Buddhas and is continuously blissful. He is his own Buddhas and always produces joy in his heart and universally enters the most profound ocean of Dharma. He everywhere enters the ocean of wisdom taught by the Buddha, with pity for the flocks of beings in the five destinies. He has pity for those in the five destinies. The three evil destinies are the hells, animals, and hungry ghosts. One as to these asuras, and human beings, thus making a total of five. He has pity for those living beings in the five destinies who undergo the most suffering. So he causes them to eradicate their defilements and be universally pure. Why do we people enter the five defined destinies? Because our greed, hatred, and stupidity are too heavy. Our defilements are extremely deep. But we want to eradicate our defilements and restore our fundamental purity so that the Buddha seed continues to flourish without being cut off. The Bodhisattva wants the Buddha seed nature to continue and never be cut off. Thus, he destroys the demons' palaces without remainder. He wants to destroy the palaces of the demon kinds so that they are completely up. Uh, 
reiterated he already advised in the level nature of the first come ones. The Bodhisattva who first brings forth the great body mind already abides in the Buddha's level, oceanic nature. He well cultivates the path of the subtly wondrous skill in means. He perfects all the wondrous expanded teaching devices. Towards the state of the Buddha's, he gives rise to a heart of faith and he receives the Buddha's anointing, his crown, his crown with a mind devoid of attachments. He has deep faith in the states of the Buddhist of the Buddhas and the Buddha's principles without giving rise to a heart of doubt. Thus he is able to receive all the Buddha's principles without giving rise to a heart of doubt. Thus he is able to receive all of the Buddha's anointing is crown and yet his mind is without attachments because he as a Buddha mind, he has a Buddha mind which is the same as the Dharma realm and space he and he is without any attachments.